So the risks of colorectal cancer surgery are number one, the colon and rectum has bacteria naturally in it. And so there's a risk of infection. Oftentimes before the surgery, we will have you undergo a bowel cleanse, both to empty out any stool in your colon, as well as with antibiotics to decrease the number of bacteria in your colon. The colon and rectum have a very good blood supply, and so there's a risk of bleeding during the procedure. And so we have to be very careful to make sure that when we perform the surgery, we tie off those blood vessels and make sure that there's no ongoing evidence of bleeding. When we remove part of the colon and put it back together, that's called an anastomosis. And that anastomosis needs to heal. And so there's a risk that if it doesn't heal, that's something called a leak. And you may need other procedures, or being placed on antibiotics, or even surgery again to repair or fix this problem. The colon is associated with other parts of your intestine, the small intestine, as well as other organs such as the kidneys, the stomach, and the spleen. And when we're performing the surgery, we have to be very careful not to damage those. In addition, especially for rectal cancer surgery, there are very important nerves in the area that go into your pelvis. And so we have to be very careful not to damage those nerves as well.